Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to service some air brakes on a 2013 Freightliner Cascadia. Alright, some of the tools we're going to be needing here, we have an 8mm wrench, vice grips, flathead screwdriver, a pry bar, a hammer, sledgehammer, an impact with a 33mm socket. So the first thing you want to do is uh, jack up the back end, put it on jack stands, and chock up the wheels. All right, your next step in the process is we have to back off our slack adjuster so our drum will slide off. You can see the bowl here puts the screwdriver on that little releaser there and then turns with 8 mil and it backs it off. Until it stops. Until it stops. So our next step here is ripping the lug nuts off. So we got our impact and our 33 millimeter socket to do that. Sometimes you're gonna run into the problem where you're drum doesn't want to come off, so you're going to have to give her a good old whack with the hammer. Don't hit your stud though. Hit her on the edge here like this. Somewhere in there. That'll work. Come right off. Okay, so here we got to inspect our drum. And this is a pretty good example of a bad drum. Unevenly wore. And then come over here. Here. They're all unevenly, they match up with the drum. Junk. Junk. Now we're taking the anchor springs off of the shoes. Okay, Alright, so now we gotta take our shoes off. And the best way to get these off, you gotta twist them to the side, just like that. And sometimes they drop. Here we are. We got our anchor pins here. These are nice and loose for us. Oh, this one. Oh, there we go. Take them out. Alright, we're just. Usually you're gonna have to pound them out with a hammer because they're frozen all the time, but this wheel was recently off. Now we're going to check for play in the S-cam. There should be little to no play any direction, and there isn't, so we're good. So we got our S-cam rollers here, and what you want to do is get some anti-seize around the sides of it. We have copper anti-seize, but you can use the regular too. You don't want to get her on the... You don't want to get her in the middle, top, because otherwise it will wear flat yeah. spots. So now we want to slip these back into place. Now we're going to put the anchor pins back in. Get his shoes. You're going to want to put anti seize on the whole thing so that they don't seize up on you. And we already have the bottom one in there. We're going to hook this tap in. You probably shoot yourself with this button, so. Right in there. Bottom on. Bottom could be a pain. Get your pin lined up. Snap right in. Putting the springs back in. See there? Simple. Uses the vice grip. They go on pretty easy. The hooker in the top. Vice grip on and try it on on her. She goes right in. And now it's time for the drum to go back on. Right, as you can see right there, it stopped. Now you gotta back her off. Now we gotta release this pin again. We're using it in like a second. And we turn it 
back, a half turn. Cherry pie. Next up here we got the tire on. Now we got our lug nuts back on. We're gonna take our impact again, tighten them down. You wanna go a star pattern, so you start up here and go there and you work your way around. <laughs> Suck her tight. Now we gotta torque our lug nuts. You wanna torque them between 450 and 500 foot pounds.